afternoon, thank you. My name is Jordan Reichert of the Animal Protection Party of Canada. Um, I wasn't intending to speak uh, this morning afternoon, but uh, I thought it pertinent as to, uh, towards the issue at hand. Um, I just I want to address the fact that, uh, I guess the idea that we have an entitlement to use animals in the way that has been described uh, here today, uh, or for other instances which are often um, put under the heading of education. I think it's quite spurious. Uh, any claims of educational value that are made in this regard, whether it is uh, through uh, handling uh, exotic species, whether it's uh, viewing them in uh, the sense of uh, an aquarium or, or even a zoo in a large degree. Most uh, children know more about dinosaurs than they do about the animals that they go see at uh, a zoo or aquarium or uh, get to touch um, as some sort of novelty. Uh, through their experience uh, with these uh, organizations and businesses. And we have to remember that these are businesses, these are uh, for-profit industries, uh, and that their intent is not necessarily the interest of the animal's welfare or the uh, interest of animals in general uh, in improving their integrity or position in our society. But in many cases, it is simply to line their pocketbooks. And so we have to keep in mind that while this uh, illusion of education is often used, there is systemic animal abuse taking place across our country. Uh, every day, uh, I'm actually from BC, and the BC SPCA is inundated with calls of animal cruelty, and that is just what is reported by those who see it. So in many cases, people are witnessing this and not reporting it, and of course, much of it goes on behind closed doors. And uh, as was mentioned earlier by Rob Laidlaw uh, of ZooCheck, uh, the regulations and oversight of these organizations and businesses uh, is essentially uh, just self-regulation. Uh, there is uh, no uh, public accountability of these organizations. And uh, we should not be trusting the lives of, you know, we talk about obviously exposing vulnerable uh, individuals to these animals, but we have to remember that these are vulnerable individuals themselves that are being exposed to people. And uh, they deserve, are deserving of the same uh, consideration and concern uh, for their well-being. And certainly it is not to be as a sideshow attraction for children, for seniors, uh, for anyone, uh, any more than uh, cats or dogs would be. And Going back to my initial point uh, of our entitlement to uh, have these animals or otherwise, or to use them in whatever capacity we may see fit, is that when we use, um, it, it's really a privilege that we have to care for any animal. And it should not be labeled under the guise of ownership. It should be labeled under the guise of uh, a responsibility to care, and uh, that should come with the responsibility also of do no harm, with an ethic of do no harm. And from what I've seen, the interest is not to further the uh, interests of the animals, it's not to improve their position in our society, it is simply to make money. And uh, any claims that uh, the therapeutic value of these animals is more significant than uh, well-socialized people living in a respectful and engaging community where they have creative opportunities to engage in their society and live a meaningful existence uh, are completely spurious. There's, there's no need for people to uh, have animals in this capacity. And uh, I uh, greatly uh, hope that uh, you will move forward with the recommendations as they are. Thank you very much.